even with COVID or without COVID, our mission is to help people. If 2020 has taught us anything, emergencies have not stopped and neither has the Red Cross. In the middle of the pandemic, Ashley Bibbs is helping to operate a brand new donation center on the west side for people to not only donate blood, but for coronavirus survivors to give convalescent plasma. If two hours of you having limited use of your arms could help somebody wrap their arms around somebody they love again, I mean, it's uh, it's a no brainer. Our staff and our volunteers are wearing masks, um, have the PPE, that we're doing the social distancing. The Red Cross mission has not changed during 2020 or during this pandemic. In fact, Red Cross teams have been working around the clock from floods to fires. You may not always see their red vests, but know that volunteers have responded to more than 1,600 disasters in Illinois just this year. Now we're responding remotely. Uh, the responses are a lot more challenging now. Uh, we're still, I feel like we're still able to get the same results from the responses, um, but it's missing the element of the Red Cross hub. When you lose your home in a home fire, it's already a tragic and horrific event. And when you lose your home during a home fire and it's during a pandemic, that trauma is um, doubled. And very often they can't stay with relatives or in traditional shelters because of the coronavirus. So the Red Cross is relying heavily on hotels. And the Red Cross is not just responding to disasters in our community. CEO Selena Roldan saw firsthand the new challenges that 2020 has brought when she deployed to Oregon during the wildfires. Saw the power of our mission being carried out when I was able to go out and deploy wearing a mask and being thinking about not only um, the pandemic itself, but air quality and what we were facing when we were actually out in the field um, being able to serve people. But through it all, volunteers are adapting. They miss hugging people and helping them on the hardest day of their life, but they're smiling through the masks, smiling through the phone and helping people get what they need on the worst day of their life.